rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Die, son? Um, okay, but your face look really pale right now. Well, I don't even know what's wrong with me, but my head is really hurt and my chest is feel so tight. Okay, I don't even know what's wrong with you too, girl. Let's just go to school health unit. Hey, wait, wait, wait for me. Okay, let's go. Hey, what happened to what happened to you? What happened to her? Okay, she fell and she said that her head hurts and her chest feel tight. Could you please check on her? Pale face, headache and tight chest. Alright, I'll check on her. Hang on. Where is your finger? So I'm gonna take your blood sample and it's gonna hurt a little. Are you okay with it? Oh, oh no! no. You know, you can use something else rather than taking her blood, right? Um, wait, what? Is Carrie explain? So, I saw this product that I've made by a team. It's called Hemex. You can check your hemoglobin level with it without having to take a blood samples at all. How does it work? Wow! Oh, wow. Just wow. explain it. How does it work exactly? If you ask, what do we use to estimate the level of hemoglobin in our body without going through a blood sample? The answer is, we use MAX30100. The main use of MAX30100 is in detecting oxygen saturation in blood and heart rate, providing ease in the process to estimate the amount of hemoglobin in the body non-invasively. And we also learned that we have to program the Arduino Uno to be able to connect the data taken from MAX30100 to the Arduino Uno. Therefore, the results of oxygen saturation detection and the heart rate obtained by MAX30100 will be calculated in order to be able to estimate the hemoglobin levels in our body. The estimated results will be shown through the liquid crystal display. And that's our product explanation. I'm Salma Putri Ataya. I'm Shiva Zara Putri Raflin. I'm Shakira Azara. I'm Anissa Khaira Maharani. I'm Ahmad Afif Atala. I'm Panji Gifari. And see you at Thailand!